We're going to turkey hunting school today. That's why we're in Georgia, turkey hunting school. The turkey hunting's hard enough, but when you gotta sit apart and communicate together, it, it tends to uh, raise the difficulty level. Yeah, two-year-old saw that strutter. What's that one? Like... Um, I think Zeus is throwing a few lightning bolts at us right now. We're still putting stuff on when we see a fan coming around the corner, pulling out. I hadn't even turned the camera on. Son, I got fired up when he cut, and I was like, that's my cue. <laughs> and I shot. It comes out uh, July 10th. It's called uh, Uncaged. I'm proud of it, man. But I know I would have loved to have been out in the woods a little bit more. I'm excited. You know, every time spring comes around, hunters in the south are thinking about one thing usually, and that's turkey hunting. Down the street. You and me were friends. We used to carve it into trees. And every day after school, we used to walk back home together. Cutting up, having fun. One very cool aspect about turkey hunting for me is just the interaction with your friends and family. I mean, really, the camaraderie surrounding turkey hunting is probably one of its biggest draws. You know, in Virginia this year, I didn't get a whole lot of opportunity to get out in the woods. The camera guys, they got out there and had some pretty cool footage that they brought back. You know that seasons came and went. This boy became a man. And I never will forget the way I made my plan. You see, every day after school, we used to ride back home together. But this time I had love on my mind. I knew I had to tell her. I said, let's take the long way home. Come on, let's take the long way home. It's a perfect day to lose our way. Come on, let's take the long way home. Turkey hunting's hard enough, but when you gotta sit apart and communicate together, and you can't move and can't make a lot of noise, it, it tends to uh, raise the difficulty level. Kill him. He's right in front of you. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Dude, that was ridiculous. Why did you not kill that turkey? Because I never saw him until like the last second. And then he started like cutting and like walking around. Did you hear that? Kill him. You and me still feeling young. Even if you get there before me, I know that you'll be waiting there. They weren't on camera when you got the shot, but man, we worked too hard to not take a shot at him this <laughs> Definitely. Long way home, take the long way home. Come on, let's take the long way home. It's a perfect day to lose our way. Come on, let's take the long way home. We gonna take the long way home. He's 10 yards. Oh, man. I have this stuff in here. Oh my god, why didn't you tell me? I was trying to tell you to wait. You can film one of Big one. Film this. We got some good footage of him. Just, he was just a little bit behind some stuff, but it doesn't always go just like you plan. In fact, it pretty much never does. This week, we're heading down to South Georgia. We're actually linking up with a buddy of mine, Josh, or as we call him, Pigpen. We met Josh hunting at Oak Ridge Outfitters during deer season, and he said, man, if you guys ever want a great spot to spring turkey hunt, I've got the spot. B-Dub, hey, Kip nice Campbell, Kip Kim. Josh. Let me to call him B-Dub, Brian Watson. B-Dub. Hey. Y'all said you saw some turkeys out here? Yeah, they walked across the top of the hill earlier. Yeah, we didn't yeah. call them. We were sitting on the porch and watching yep. them. Oh, really? I was excited to meet B-Dub because I'd heard a lot about his turkey calling prowess and how good he was at getting these long beards to fall in love with him. Yeah, he, he's like He's mad. He's, he's mad at these turkeys. Man. He's mad. We are not. This is not a game. He ain't playing. I mean, deer hunting's fun, and you can get mad at deer because it just ain't doing something. No. But he does. Look, no, he's, that's a mad walk right there. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> there are two of them. We started right here at the porch, and we walked out in the yard. Y'all were getting your your stuff together, and they were gobbling all around us here. We're going to we're going to turkey hunting school today. 
That's why we're in Georgia, turkey hunting school. There's only about 10 turkeys gobbling all around the lodge when we got up this morning. I'm excited. Shrub. Shrub goes, goes across my dam on my lake. Okay. Straight out in front of us, he's gonna have to come. This brown. Yeah. Is he coming across that water? He coming across the water? Okay. I don't think. Yeah. So set up, set up back in. Come out of the corner. Try to call him up this one. To be honest with you, I thought it was a done deal. 100% sure that turkey was facing to die. We could, we could, be, we could have killed three turkeys on the tailgate of the truck. They went right down through there, didn't it? That's still cool, but they had that decoy they get us, I think. Yeah, two year old saw that strutter. We got what it was we like the great equalizer. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, normally that's that's the whole reason I go turkey hunting is so I can call one in. You get somebody like him, and it's like you get your, you get your notepad out and. Just, Oh, you do that? Yeah, wherever Josh goes, he seems to bring the rain. I love him to death, but he's just like a, a little black cloud when it comes to the weather. We had one, we have three or four birds working. I mean, gobbling. And uh, they all, they were smart and stayed in the roost, half of them anyway. And luckily we had this deluxe accommodation ground blind here, box blind. Well, all five of us, camera gear, decoys, guns, you name it, it was all up in there, and uh, it rained hard. I mean, it was a monsoon. You on a hunt in the worst weather you can imagine? Bring Josh. Big pen out, baby. Big pen out, baby. <laughs> it's worked out it's all, well. It's all his fault. He brings, he brings the thunderclouds wherever he goes. So. Unfortunately, we can't air any of the stories that were told in that hunting blind, but I can tell you what, my sides still hurt from laughing. As we were all in there cutting up, telling our stories, you know, my phone rings and I answer it. That bird y'all got gobbling and he said, how's he working? I said, well, he's gobbling his head off. He said, yes, well, he's in a he's in a pen. There's one gobbling hot. We're all, we're all back here talking to each other. He's still on the roost. Yeah, let's go wait this thing out and we'll get him. He'll fly down after the rainstorm. <laughs> it was a pinned up to white turkey, so. We never claim to be smart. We just, just keep going, I guess. He ain't, he ain't too far. He ain't too far. I watched this turkey put on a heck of a show, man. He was in full strut, triple gobbling, just acting a fool. And Josh only got to see him about halfway through this display.
that's how he uh, he met his maker, actually. <laughs> Man, say kill him. He didn't come in, so I killed him. <clears throat> What do you think, boys? What do you think? He jacked up one of his spurs, man. He's been fighting. Yeah, fight, fight. look at that. I've never seen anything like that. That must have felt good. It'd be like pulling a toenail off. But yeah, he's a good two-year-old. Got a good rope on him. Nothing wrong with him. The way the weather was this morning, I'll take you. You dug on right, brother. Last two days. We piled up in that shooting house, and I was thinking, this thing is done set down on us. Well, we were staying a couple of hours, didn't we? Yeah, two and a half hours. Man. It's a good thing we all wore our high boots, and really not necessarily for the rain, more for the <laughs> for all the BS that was flying around that little hunting line. Yeah, nice call him, brother. That's the first time, that's the first time everybody, anybody's ever called for me. Really? That's the man to have, too, I'm here to tell you. He's kind of like, if you're on the practice field with Bear Bryant yeah. and you're assistant coach, you put your whistle in your pocket. In Virginia, you get three tags, but you can only kill one turkey a day. In Georgia, you can kill three turkeys in one sitting. So I was pretty excited about continuing the fun on to the rest of the afternoon and the rest of the days to come. The stars were made to wish on while we dreaming. And if my scars had all been stitched up and why they bleeding? Say it's darkest before the dawn shines some light on me. And it was calmest before the storm. I'm just waiting on the We chased a couple of birds that morning, you know, with not a whole lot of luck, and we decided to head over to another piece of property. They did a minute. Uh, we ain't been gone for 45 minutes. Yeah. They were sitting on the porch when we left. That's awesome, man. Uh, we split up. You know, re, you know, Red Arrow went their way and, and uh, with B-Dub, and, and I took C-Dub, and away we went with the camera. Stuck the decoy on the ground, and I yelled at the decoy, and he gobbled, and he was right there. We're still putting stuff on when we see a fan coming around the corner. I mean, I'm putting gloves on, pulling a hat. I hadn't even turned the camera on. Not yet. Unfortunately, the trees were in the way of the camera. That was sick. I just, I, I feel so bad I didn't get any footage of it, but. He was probably walking and yelping and he probably gobbled him. Yeah, sat down. That was the first turkey that Cody had ever caught actually on his own. Although he is a, he is a very good caller and that one he killed was an absolute freak. To be with him on that hunt was just an honor for me. I wish like everything we'd have got better footage, but he and I will, will remember that like no one else can. It just won't blow me. So we're working down these roads and we got some turkeys gobbling on either side. And we're working down toward this food plot and all of a sudden we spot a hen. Walked right up on a bird, had its back turned to us and obviously took a dirt nap. Uh, you can knock me down with a feather. Cut me in half with a blade of grass. Yeah. And I got the bead right on her head in case she turns around and, you know, is a circus hen. If she's the bearded hen, I'm shooting her. Well, she circles around and kind of gets agitated and it almost works to our advantage because we're agitating her, calling her. She's not quite sure what we are. I'm sitting there like a goofball holding a decoy up in the middle of the road. But all that racket has stirred up some gobblers now. And we have got to get to this food plot and throw down and get set up really quick. He's right here. He's about to step out in the field. I can't see him yet. I can hear him walking. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, everybody. I mean, his head snapped back. It looked like some kind of football highlight of somebody getting just clotheslined. <laughs> Son, <laughs> we got them both. That one tried to flee the scene. I don't know how well I hit him, but he went down. I know that. Yeah, that was some scrambling was what that was. That was crazy. Yeah, right crawling up on that hen. Well, all I could see was the tail. Well, me too, and I, and I wasn't I, sure what it I was. When I saw y'all hit the ground, I just rolled to the right because yeah. she started cutting, and I just started cutting back. <laughs> I thought right. I was gonna have to do the Heimlich maneuver on me because I saw. <laughs> I thought he, he swallowed, swallowed his mouth call. When he killed that second bird, I just fell over sideways <laughs> laughing. And I still had to call him on my mouth. He gobbled right out. <laughs> They've been to this food plot before. I think they have. I think they visited it for the. That's the last they checked yeah. out today. Yeah, the last supper. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, they walked the green mile. <laughs> Zach gave me some granddaddy knives to hand out to give everybody. That right there, the Southern Grind granddaddy. I mean, it's, you know, you, you think about it, you think, why am I gonna carry this great big old knife? But I mean, it's basically a pretty versatile tool. You can cut down yeah. anything, you can trim trees up, you can build a little ground blind. This week I have that. used the heck out of it since I've had it. Right. It was just only a couple days we were down here. Killed four. I mean, between me and him, we killed four. Big pen here should have maybe killed one or two. Killed one well, he passed up one this afternoon yeah. because yeah. we couldn't get it yeah. on video. We couldn't get it on video. We couldn't like, get it on video. Well, I still got a smile He's a on my face. He's a professional. I had a blast. Well, after we wrapped things up down there with B-Dub, Zach was actually getting back in from touring and from working on his new album. So this time is, is super important to him, just like it is to me. And, and this was going to be an opportunity for both of us to to spend some really good time with our family. Zach has been in the laboratory creating his newest album with the band and all the guys. It comes out uh, July 10th, it's called uh, Uncaged. I was riding my motorcycle and looked up and saw a hawk flying over the road, saw the sky. And it's crazy how much just being in a roof, being in a car, just having yeah. a roof over your head. I mean, yeah. even a sunroof, it didn't, it's not the same thing, having that wind blowing on your face and being out there in the middle of it. See a lot of nature in one day now. When the you know when the fans are out there singing along to it, it's always I mean it, it's like a brand new tune. You know, yeah. we did a straight up R and B song on the record. So when y'all are in your tent or in your tree stand getting ready to get down with your lady, that's the song. The song it's called on, Overnight. Put on your iPod. Yeah. You know between hanging out with B Dub and Cody and Ashley and Josh and just you know, getting to go hang out with Zach and his family and seeing my little girls. We just had a tremendous time down there. I just got to thank B-Dub and Ashley and Cody and everybody for hosting us, especially Josh for inviting us. And you know, it was one of those things where everybody down there you just felt like was family. I will definitely be back to hunt with B-Dub in the near future. In fact, you better have my dove field right when I come down there, man, because we're going to slam them. came up in this food plot like those two guys from Night at the Roxbury just you me huh you huh me me and you you like I said dinosaur rickets <laughs> yeah. see how tough it is on <laughs> he got me that time he got me that time hey yeah <laughs> I got it that time. <laughs> sitting down in the chairs and sitting down up against the walls, but uh, but we stuck it out. Uh, we knew that looking at the, uh, I knew y'all were coming. I just didn't know when you were coming. Don't trust a redneck with a turkey call. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs>